Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. I have polarized sunglasses and I can't see the viewfinder at all. Literally looks like a dark screen. So there's a fun fact. I feel like in Indiana, we went straight from summer right into winter time. We're actually having decent fall weather now. I think it's supposed to be like in the 60s next week. You want your ball? <laughs> oh, I almost threw it over the fence. That was real close. <laughs> You guys are so crazy. Let me go back inside now because I think that my neighbors probably think that I'm just like randomly talking to myself. The concentration mode is real. If I saw up on your vlog, we're getting divorced. Did you hear that? Rude. The people like you. The people love you. My husband's being extremely nice to me today because he's cooking me one of our HelloFresh meals. I think it's burgers. The buns. Thank you to hubby for cooking for me. Those look real good. What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? What is Miss Ellie doing? Miss Ellie went to the vet recently because she has an ear infection going on. Hey, no, 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 hey. <laughs> Anyways, that is about it for tonight. Pretty much just going to be chilling here and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's currently Friday and for once, literally in like, I don't even know, maybe like six months or so, I actually got to sleep in. Literally, I needed all the sleep. I don't even know how I've been surviving. I work a full-time job, so I have to get up at like six o'clock in the morning every single day. And then I've literally been working Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. <sighs> It's so cold outside, I can literally see my breath. This is such a turnaround from yesterday. Frost right here, frost on the grass, and frost right here. Ellie, can you not? But seriously, look at this. This is so freaking pretty. I don't have anybody that lives behind me because there's a farmer that owns this entire field behind me. All I look out to is just sunrises over here. Just a fun fact, I am watching a show called Lock and Key. If you guys haven't seen it on Netflix, it's amazing. But it's basically about this family who moves into this house and there's all these freaking magical keys around that do different things. So now I'm binge watching the second season. <laughs> All right, gotta do freaking adult things now. Gotta clean my house and do laundry and everything. The thing that absolutely frustrates me the most about doing laundry, how in the world do you literally end up with like one sock? You put both of them in and for some odd reason, one of them comes out. I've been looking for it for about 10 minutes and I'm just at the point where I'm just gonna give up. I actually have a hair appointment at one o'clock. So I gotta go ahead and make myself look decent. I am actually just wearing one of my outfits that I got from Shein. It's just this shirt that's new, by the way. It's more of like a thicker wool sort of material. Just have it with black jeans and then some little boots right here. Processing. I think we're bleaching out my hair a little bit more um, just to get the roots a little bit lighter and then I'm going a little bit more blonde. I don't know what magic happens in the salon. Literally, why can't I get it like this? I think I might run into CVS because I think I might have coupons as per usual. I do need to stock up on the Ardell Demi Wispies. I am running out of those lashes. I think I have the rest of the supplies that I need for the wedding. I have six ladies, I believe, tomorrow, and I'm actually going to a brand new venue that literally just opened about like three or four months ago, I want to say. It's called the Bradley Hotel, and Veer Bradley actually owns that hotel or has some sort of part in it. 
If you guys don't live in the Midwest, you guys might not know what that brand is, but originally they sold purses and like luggages and everything. And since Fear Bradley originated in Fort Wayne, Indiana, then they decided to build the Bradley Hotel in Fort Wayne downtown. And I'm just really excited to see it because I have heard really good things about it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and head to CVS, I think, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, I am back home. For some odd reason, when I went into CVS, I feel like I could only find the Demi Wispies in these single packs. And then I got two of the Naked Lashes. So I got this one here. And then I also got this pair, which is a little bit shorter. Let me go ahead and actually get out my contract for tomorrow because I'm going to need that anyways. For some odd reason, my list isn't current, but I know that the bride sent me an updated itinerary for this. And she actually ended up making the schedule, which usually I make the schedule for makeup applications. So it was a little bit different for me. I also need to answer a couple of emails too while I'm at this. Online Makeup Academy wants to collaborate with me again. So if you guys didn't see my Online Makeup Academy course that I did, I did the master makeup course with them. They actually want to collaborate again and they want to offer me my hairstyling course. So I might respond back to them on that. I need to send out a contract to one of my bridal clients. Okay, I gotta print out a contract because the bride just signed with me and I don't think I sent her an invoice yet for the retainer amount. So I'm gonna have to do that really quickly too. I'm just gonna be doing some back end stuff really quickly and then I'm going to be packing up for the wedding. finished getting everything packed into my backpack. I'm not separating out brush pouches or anything because I have six people, which should be okay as far as the amount of brushes that I have in my brush belt, so I shouldn't have to like restock or anything. I also wanted to make sure to bring these eye masks. Usually my Skin Iceland eye gels only come with my luxury packages. However, I actually have an excess amount of them because I literally bought way too many on my last order. So I told the bride that every single person in her wedding party, since she has only six people, would get an eye mask. So I'm bringing six of them with me. Yeah, that's pretty much it as far as me packing for my wedding since everything else is clean. So I will just touch base with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is currently 5.38 in the morning. I am so tired. I don't think I got enough sleep. <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can just brush up my hair a little bit, make it look a little bit more decent. I just gotta do really simple makeup. I'm not doing false lashes or anything because I'm not awake enough for that because I feel like I probably might poke myself in the eye if I try. I just got on a little turtleneck here. Then I also have some black jeans and knee-high boots that are black here. Yeah, that's the outfit that I have for today. It's very simple, but I wanted to stay warm and be kind of casual. Sorry it's so dark in here. I just don't want to turn on any lights because I am driving right now. I am headed to the wedding right now. The bride sent me parking instructions and the closest parking garage, it's so inconvenient. It's about two and a half blocks away. Like you have to turn a corner and then go down two blocks. And I'm like, there's no way that I'm carrying all of my stuff. So I'm just gonna valet my car. It's like 29 degrees right now. And I just don't wanna walk in the cold or anything. Call me high maintenance or whatever. It's just too early in the morning for that. All right, just got all valeted and everything. Had to fill out a valet ticket. Hi. Right. <laughs> oh, just went the wrong direction. Somebody was totally trying to get in the elevator and I literally was talking to myself on a camera. It was pretty great. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Julie. I'm the makeup artist. Makeup artist. Yep. <laughs> Olivia's naked. Yes. Oh, it's it's completely fine. <laughs> Come on in. We have both rooms open. Okay. So whatever. This is really cool. Actually, that table is perfect. Is this all windows right here? Yes. That's fantastic. Tears upon your 
stars pick me up the stars The stars are walking me with you The stars Places in the dark Places that we fight through Just to me apart The rain in my skin Tears upon your friends Upon your friends Oh no All right, guys, I just got done with the wedding, so now I'm heading out of here. Let me film the lobby a little bit. I'm on my way home right now. Finally got my car from valet and everything. I have not eaten today. I woke up at 5.30, as you guys saw earlier, and I am just really ready to eat. I pretty much don't really have anything else going on here. I don't have a lot of jobs this weekend. I literally just have 
this wedding and then I have the appointment tomorrow for a boudoir session that's hair and makeup and that's about it. My vlogs are probably going to start kind of slowing down a little bit so I'll probably just be breaking out more informative videos as I go on. Okay, I have eaten and am super refreshed now. <laughs> Got some caffeine in my system, which is really good. So now I am super hyped and ready to clean my kit here. Got to do this really quickly because I actually have a Friendsgiving with some old coworkers tomorrow and I am cooking the main dish. So I'm actually making a turkey. Well, correction, I am prepping the turkey and then my husband is actually cooking it on the smoker. So hopefully I can do that really quickly after I clean my kit, but this is priority. Then it's a really nice day, so I might clean the inside of my car. It has not been vacuumed out in such a long time. There's stuff all over the place. Okay, just finished up all my cleaning and cleaned my brushes and everything. So should be prepped and ready for tomorrow's appointment. Took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Definitely spent the last like three hours cleaning. I'm going to run to the grocery store here and probably not gonna be able to take the vlog camera with me. It's gonna look really weird if I'm just walking around with the vlogging camera the whole time by myself. Well, I just got back from the grocery store and I couldn't find any like thawed out turkeys that were around eight pounds or so. I only have six people. They said they usually do about a half a pound per person. So I have plenty of turkey and plus other people are bringing other things too. So now I have to thaw a turkey adult life. It can either take two days to thaw it out, which I don't have two days because I need it by tomorrow afternoon, or you can thaw it out in cold water in a sink. Now I have this situation going on. It obviously doesn't weigh enough to submerge itself when something isn't on top of it. So I used this marble cutting board to sink it down underneath the water so the whole entire thing's submerged. There's me adulting at its finest. Hey guys, Teacher Julie here. I just realized that I completely deleted the footage that had my intro for Sundays. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. On Sunday in the morning, I was setting up for a boudoir shoot. I wasn't going to the photographer or the client or anything. The client was actually coming to me because I was working directly with her. I was setting that up for hair and makeup because I was doing both. And then afterwards I had my friends giving. Okay, just finished getting myself ready and also set up my station here. Just have my chair over here. I had to pull it a little bit forward because I am doing hair today. Then of course I set up my bag right here, laid everything out from the top section right here, and then I have some of my hair items. So I have a curling wand, straightener, just in case. Then I have a comb to brush it out, um, some hair clips to pull it back into sections, and then I have my hairspray, heat protectant, dry shampoo, and also a silkening gloss. That's pretty much what I have as far as my setup here, so I'm just gonna wait until my client gets here. Okay, just got done with the boudoir client, and yeah, it turned out really good. I'll insert pictures. I'll have to clean all this stuff up here. Obviously, I have a mess going on. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. I just had to make myself some coffee. I don't even know what's up with me, guys. I just think that my body is severely deficient in sleep or something. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon and I'm already really tired. Obviously have three hours or so before my friends get here for our friends giving. So I gotta have some coffee in my system to be able to keep me going here. So I saw the preview photos for what the photographer posted from yesterday's wedding and they turned out amazing. Oh my gosh. Let me show you guys, hold on. Like, look at how amazing my bride looks. I feel like I keep lucking out and literally getting like the most gorgeous brides. I know that you obviously saw her makeup application through my vlog, but it just photographed so freaking well on camera. It was so great. I only see them getting ready in robes and everything. And then sometimes I don't even get to see them putting on their dresses. So I just really love when I get the photographer's photos and literally just everything just comes together. It's a whole entire dream come true. Coffee break. 
Also, I just realized that I do not have the table space or the chairs for the amount of people that are coming. So there's eight people coming total, and that's including my husband and I. Since I don't have a coffee table still, there's not a lot of table space going on, except for just our little round table that has four chairs. We have three bar stools, but literally they're so inexpensive and so cheap, and they're so wobbly. I'm afraid every single time I sit down on one of those that I'm just literally gonna fall through and go onto the floor. So I had my husband just now go grab some folding chairs from his parents' house. And then we actually have a giant folding table that's a rectangle that I'm just gonna have set up in our living room so all of us can sit together. Man, I think the coffee's kicking in already. <laughs> I just realized I started talking really fast and got really energetic. Okay, just got the makeshift Thanksgiving table set up here. One of my friends is not able to join us because she said she wasn't feeling well. So um, I think we only have seven total now. Oh, look at how cool it looks. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Turkey, it looks so good. Sight. You're disrupting me. <laughs> Grab him. Grab the doggos. No, no. He's about to pick me up. You. Just because I'm small doesn't mean you can just pick me up whenever. You said grab it. No, I'm at the dogs. She does not wanna. Oh, here she comes. Wait, no, 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 you can't. Okay. No, no, no. Rude. Just locked me outside. Excuse you, sir. No! <laughs> Please tell me why my friends literally have been here multiple different times and still don't know my address. Hey, which uh, light switch is the fireplace? Not the farthest to the left, but the one inside that. Okay. My husband told me the wrong switch. It's this one. Fire! They're intrigued by the fake fire as well. Also, not like I needed it, but uh, I made myself another cup of coffee because why not? Hey! Oh god. <laughs> Next is like your butt smells good. <laughs> Calm. Calm. Shh. You wanna say hi, Sarah? Hi. <laughs> she brought cheesy potatoes. Oh, high five. <laughs> Are you vlogging Are this calm? experience? Yep. Mm -hmm. I am vlogging the experience. <laughs> Hi, I have a knife. Would you like to? <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna cut you. I, cut I invited you. her over to my house and now I'm making her carve the turkey. Carve the turkey. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. You're, Excuse you're doing well. Me. Excuse me. I think I'll probably just end off this vlog here. Sorry there really wasn't much involved in here because I only filmed the wedding. If you guys did enjoy the vlog, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as also hitting that subscribe button down below. I upload a ton of makeup artist related content. So if you guys are interested, definitely subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope you guys are having an app. Dexter, I'm trying to do my outro. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.